Hey everybody, this is Paul, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to find the circumference of a circle given the radius or a diameter. So in my last video I came up with these two equations, and I wanted to make this second video just to give uh, you guys a few examples of how to use these equations, just in case some of you need a little bit extra practice. Um, I decided to make this video so that uh, you can see some examples of how this works since last time I just kind of showed you these equations but didn't really give you much of an example. So we want to find the circumference or the outside of the circle and we're either given the diameter which is the distance of a line segment that starts at one end of the circle, travels through the center, and ends at the other end of the circle or we're given a radius which is a line segment that starts at the center of a circle and ends on any edge of the circle. So if you have a diameter and you want to find the circumference, you use this equation. And if you have a radius, you use this equation. So let's say that we're given a diameter which equals 6. Then the circumference is simply equal to d pi, since we're using the diameter, we use this equation, and d equals 6, so we simply replace the d with a 6. So the distance around a circle with a diameter of 6 is simply 6 pi. So what happens if our diameter is equal to, let's say, 3? Well, we simply plug it into the circumference is equal to the diameter times pi. So the diameter this time is 3, so it's 3 times pi. So c equals 3 times pi. So it's really just that simple. If you're given a diameter, of a circle, the outside, the distance around the outside of the circle is going to be the diameter times pi. So in this case it's 3 times pi. In the other case where we have a diameter of 6, it's 6 times pi. So that's really all there is to it. So any, any diameter you have, you multiply it by pi and you have the circumference or the distance around the outside of a circle. So if we're given a radius, it's really almost just as simple except for we have this factor of 2 in here. So let's say that we're given a radius of, I don't know, 5. So our circle has a radius of 5. The length from here to here is 5. And we want to find out the distance around the outside of the circle. So since we're given a radius, we plug it into this equation instead of this one. So we put 5 where the r is, since r, our radius, equals 5. So the circumference, the distance around a circle with radius 5, is simply 2 times r, which is 5, so 2 times 5, times pi. So it's simply 10 pi. And just to sink it in, I'll give one more example here. Let's say that we're given a radius of, oh, let's do 9. Let's say we have a circle with radius 9, we want to find the circumference, the distance around the outside of the circle. Since we're given a radius, we plug it into the radius equation. The circumference, the distance around the outside of the circle, is simply equal to 2, coming from here, times 9, which is our radius, r equals 9, times pi. So c equals 2 r pi. c equals 2, our r is 9, pi. So 2 times 9 is 18. So then if we have a circle with a radius of 9, then the circumference, the distance around the outside of that circle, is 18 times pi. So there you go. I just wanted to make this video real quick for those of you who just wanted a few more examples on how to find the circumference given the radius or the diameter. Anyway, stay tuned for some more videos on circles. And uh, thank you for watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe.